Even scripture was careful on how it associated the events that occurred when the judges ruled to the identity of Elimelech. I say so because sandwiched between the establishing of his identity in scripture are the surrounding factors with great potential of affecting his identity and decision making. Let's take a look at Ruth chapter 1 verse 1 to 2. I read from the New International Version. It says this, In the days when the judges ruled, there was a famine in the land. So a man from Bethlehem in Judah, together with his wife and two sons, went to live for a while in the country of Moab. The man's name was Elimelech. His wife's name was Naomi, and the names of his two sons were Malon and Kilion. They were Ephrathites from Bethlehem, Judah, and they went to live in Moab. Amen. Now, the Bible begins by telling us that in the days when the judges ruled, there was famine in the land. And a certain man from Bethlehem, at this stage, at this point in the scripture, it doesn't tell us specifically who that man was. It says a man, a certain man from Bethlehem, Judah, together with his wife and two sons, went to live for a while in the country of Moab. Now, the second sentence begins by establishing the identity of this man. And it says this, the man's name was Elimelech. His wife's name was Naomi, and the names of his two sons were Malon and Kilion. They were Ephrathites from Bethlehem, Judah. You realize that from this statement, okay, where his identity is being established, nothing about the famine is mentioned. Nothing about the rule of the judges are mentioned either. Amen. That is why we said at the beginning that Elimelech's identity was established independent of the surrounding factors in the country at the time. Scripture was very careful not to associate Elimelech's identity with the influence of the judge's rule, the famine of the land, the country of Moab, where idol worship was the order of the day. His decision to go and live in Moab with his family. Amen. When it comes to decision making and identity, understand that societal factors press on every side of our identity. But it is up to us to look at these situations in the eyes and say yes or no. So my question to you today is this. Do you know who you are? Do you know whose you are? Have you identified the surrounding factors pressing on your identity and demanding a change that you will not otherwise make? I would like you to think about these questions and realign yourself and do not compromise in decision making. Amen.